This is Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today this will be like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom? Go to Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Podbean. They are everywhere. And especially those of you listening on iTunes, if you could leave a rating and a brief written review, it helps in the algorithms to move this podcast up toward the top of the list and enabling others to find it. I really appreciate your help and I really appreciate you tuning in and listening today. I think I told you some time ago that the very first kind of a positive book or self-help or development book that I ever read, I was a child. I was younger than 12, I remember. It was recommended to me by my grandmother. It was a runaway hit bestseller that if you haven't read it, you really need to read it. And that is Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's been updated. I even have it on my Audible account. Uh, how to win friends and uh, how to influence people, win friends, win friends and influence people for the digital age. It's been updated. Uh, the book by Carnegie was written back in a different era, different time, and some of his illustrations are exceedingly out of date, but the principles are really, really good. But the second book that I really remember ever reading in that genre and you're going to have to speed all the way now up to my early adult years, was written by Brian Tracy. It was simply entitled Eat the Frog, and that has become an important important principle. I've heard it from Zig Ziglar. There are people who accredit it originally to Mark Twain and a few others, so I'm not exactly sure where the idea came from, but for a leader, it is an indispensable concept. Um, It's accredited that Mark Twain once said that if the first thing you do each morning is to eat a live frog, you can go through the day with the satisfaction of knowing that that is probably the worst thing that's going to happen to you all day long. Your frog, now he is speaking as an illustration, your frog, my friend, is your biggest, most important task the one you're most likely to procrastinate on if you don't do something about it. Eat the frog. Do the hard thing. Notice the concept doesn't just say do the hardest thing, but do the hardest thing first. Start off that way. Now, there are some other um add-ons to that or explanations, if you will, for eating the frog. For instance, it is out of that concept that I have developed after listening to lots of people and reading a lot of people and and talking to a lot of leaders who uh, I have appreciated how they were able to fairly effectively get things done, I would ask them. And so out of all of that, I distilled it down into what works for me. And and that is a part of my evening routine. I identify the three most important tasks. Now, I put together, I, I start with a master list for the week of all that needs to be done. And then I break it down into my daily list of things I'm going to do. And therefore, if I ever get through all of the things that are on my daily list, then I have my weekly list that I can go to and begin clicking those things off. But as I list them, it could be a meeting, it could be a project, it could be a phone call, it could be a really tough conversation, it could be a candid conversation that needs to be had, it can be any number of things. But once I get them down, then I write down, here are the three most important that I have to do. I always have at least one, if not more of them, that will move me forward in my goals. But I always have one that is tough and that if I'm left to my own devices, I will put it off and put it off. Now, they have a tendency to change by the weeks and months of your life. For instance, right now, I'm in preparation for uh, being out of town for a couple of weeks on a vacation. And therefore, I am having to really buckle down and get some things done, including today recording a few podcasts. Now, 
I love doing the podcast, but I, when you have to do several of them in a row, I could, the easy way would be to say, well, I can get to that later in the day. But I know these, these are a big thing that I've got to get done. Therefore, it is my frog today. It is my first thing that I'm doing in the morning. I'm going to record four podcasts. And I'm just, I had to do the work and I'm going to do it. And I'm not uh, letting anything deter me from that. There are times when I have to have a tough conversation. Now, I'm an early riser, and the person I need to have the tough conversation with may not be up already, so I may have to back off and wait till regular business hours or till I can get with that person. But it's one of those frogs that I, I'm not going to uh, relent. I'm not going to go ahead and forget about it because what happens is, well, that's a tough conversation and we, our stomachs feel unsettled. and We think I'm not sure that the time is right. Maybe there'd be a more, a more um, appropriate time. And the fact is you just need to do it now. If that is your frog, whatever it is, eat it. It usually is something that drains you, something that you don't necessarily really relish. There are certain things in life that you just enjoy doing. They're, they're a part that if if you could, you would do that for free. But there are other things that you just dread, but they are a part of your responsibility. That for you is a frog. And it'll just help you with the rest of your day if you tackle that first thing in the morning. And if you tackle it first, then your day is going to be much more pleasant knowing that thing is now behind me. Now, for those who follow after the eat the frog philosophy, there's another part of that that says, well, what if you have two frogs to eat or more? What if you have on your to-do list today or on your agenda today, two really uncomfortable, unpleasant, unpleasant, just really ugly frogs? Here's the answer to that. What if you have to eat two frogs today? The theory is eat the ugliest one first. The most difficult, the one that's causing you the most uh, nervousness, the one that gives you the most angst, that would be the one that you should go to. This is just another way of saying, you know, if you have two important tasks before you, start with the biggest, hardest, and the one that's most important to get done. Discipline yourself to begin immediately and then persist until that task is complete before you go on to something else. So again, eat the frog first. Your day is going to get better if you do. If you have a couple of ugly frogs to eat, eat the ugliest one first. Now, if you have to eat a live frog, it doesn't pay to sit and look at it very long. I remember being interviewed for a position in 1996. The governing board that interviewed me, almost the first question was, how do you handle conflict? Well, you know, no questions ever arise out of a vacuum. Um, That organization felt that some of the reason they were in the situation they were in is because conflict had not been dealt with and conflict had not been attended to and decisions were not made. Now, I don't know where it came from, but I had read Zig Ziglar talking about the frog. And so I just stated this. I'm going to quote from you from St. Zig Ziglar, who said, if you have to eat a frog, go ahead and eat it. It isn't going to get any prettier the longer you look at it. And so I think that's, that's this theory. It's not going to get easier. It's not going to get better. As a matter of fact, your nerves are going to get worse. So go at it right now. The key to reaching high levels of performance and productivity is to develop the lifelong habit of tackling your toughest major task first thing in the morning. You must develop a routine daily of eating your frog before you do anything else. I'd say before you check email, before you get on social media, eat the frog first and you develop that habit, you will, as it were, supercharge 
your life. And oftentimes you'll realize that thing that you've been afraid of was mostly in your mind. Now, there are some things that I have been afraid of and thought they might not turn out real well, which didn't. But oftentimes we overestimate and uh, we get ourselves all worked up more fearfully than we really should. In essence, you could just melt down this eat the frog philosophy to take action and take action now. That is one of the things that's going to differentiate you, my leader. Are you a person who talks now, talks then, talks later, talks, talks, talks? Or are you a leader who takes action, who executes your plan, who does things day in and day out? Successful, effective people are those who just launch right into their major tasks, discipline themselves to work single-mindedly until those tasks are complete. One of the biggest problems in organizations today is that many people confuse activity with accomplishment. You can be spinning your wheels, running around, going to and fro, and people would say, he is really a busy person. She really is a go-getter. They usually talk a lot. They're usually the people that are calling more meetings and more meetings and then having meetings to plan how to have more meetings. They can come into your office and lay out on your desk the most beautiful, drawn-up plans you've ever seen. But at the end of the day, the end of the project, the job never quite gets done and the results are never quite there. You can dream of writing a book, but before you can publish a book, you have to sit down and start writing. Maybe that's your frog. If you want to get out of debt, you're going to have to get your spending under control and you're going to have to come up with a plan. The great things about habits and attitudes, or if you combine the words a habitude, is you can actually develop positive habits. And one of those is it's almost like I get a high out of, okay, it's morning. Here's this thing I'm going to work on. Left to my own devices, I would ignore it. But I'm going to dive in. I'm going to work my way through it. I'm going to get it done. And when you get it done, there is no high like eating your frog, getting it done. How do you do this, Dr. Ron? Practice. It's like most, most everything else. Most things in life, you don't get better just reading a book about it. You actually have to dive in and do it. And practice is the key. You'll have fits and starts. There'll be times when you're eating that frog and you get in the middle of it that morning and you realize there's you're stuck. You can't do what you needed to do. And you'll have to make adjustments. Don't give up just because you had a bad day or didn't live it out in one particular time. But your mind and your attitude are like muscles. And when you determine that you're going to eat the frog first, you're not going to do um, the easy thing. You're not going to waste time on social media and uh, looking at your email or watching a lot of television. You're going to jump in and do today that thing that you dislike, that thing that you despise. And once you've chosen that frog, get, get your alarm set, get up, go after it, and eat it. And if you have to, go ahead and eat the ugliest one first. There are always tasks that you like to tick off your list. They're, they're easy to. So again, let's just overview some categories of where frogs, the ponds on which frogs live. Um, sometimes it's the things you really don't want to do, but it's absolutely essential you need to do that. Sometimes that comes down to firing somebody having a uh, really difficult conversation with a colleague. Uh, sometimes um, it's, it's just something that you just absolutely need to do. 
Um, th that frog is that crucial conversation, that project that has to be done, those um, difficult things that maybe force you into areas that, that you're not overly comfortable with. It doesn't matter what it is, but you need to discover your frog, make up your mind that you're going to begin by doing the toughest thing. And Mark Twain was correct. If you have to eat a live frog, go ahead and eat it early in the day, for you will have known the rest of the day that you nothing will be more unpleasant than what you accomplished early in the day. This has helped me as much as just about anything that I've incorporated into my leadership toolkit. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today this was like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts, if you would please subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom and leave a brief rating and review. Remember, my leadership friend, you are doing better than you think you are. You really are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, have a great and blessed day.